Hey guys, Tiffany here. And today I'm going to do a video called. Hold on. Long live the orca, both free and wild, not in a prison called captivity. And my mother was like that. Um, yeah, it's basically the weirdest thing in the world is that these magnificent animals, like, have been in captivity since we since the 60s. The first being Wanda, who only survived two days, because she couldn't take it. And, well, it's kind of sad, because these whales are magnificent, they're amazing, and yet, they're stuck in these tanks that are so damn small, that, well, they don't know what to do. First thing I'm going to read, this is actually part one of two videos I'm going to do, and my paper is blown away, because I have the fan on. It's called, this first, like I said, this is part one of two, is of Long Live the Orca. This is called, Can Captive Orcas Be Rehabilitated and Released? SeaWorld claims that keeping, that freeing an orca would be a deadly experiment. It's not. Because you look at Keiko. They realize that he was miserable in the tank he was in. So they re they rehabilitated him and released him. Let me continue. Wasn't capturing the orca in the first place a deadly experiment? Orcas have been in captivity for about 40 years. But they have lived in the wild since the beginning of time. The two oldest orcas in captivity to date are Lolita of the Miami Sea Aquarium and Corky II of Sea World San Diego. Now, Corky does have a family member with her, which is Orchid, who is named after her father, Corky II. But Lolita only has specific white-sided dolphins who she does not get along with at all. In captivity, they only live on the average, on an average, of 7 to 15 years. But in the wild, they can live to be over 100. For example, in the wild, there's a killer whale called Granny, who is 103. Oh, that's right, 103 years old, people. More than 225 orcas have died in captivity, according to the record. Maybe more. Now, one of them is on record is Hugo, Lolita's family and tank mate, until March 4, 1980, when he was found dead in the tank with her. Now, I don't remember what they said he died from, but what he really died from was from repeatedly ramming his head against the wall of that tank. Because he couldn't take being in that tank much longer, so he died of, he killed himself, causing himself to have a brain aneurysm. People say kill, animals can't kill, commit suicide. Correction, they can. Because you look at Kathy. One of the stars of, Flip, of the 1960 show Flipper. When Flipper was over, she was put in a concrete tank. And when they and when they noticed something wasn't right with her, they called her original trainer Rick O'Berry. And when Rick got there, he was in the tank with her. She took one breath while she, he was holding her and went under. Didn't come up again. He basically died from his arm. Now. And what they did with Hugo, I think, is pretty sad. They have, if you look around the aquarium, around Miami's aquarium, there's no record that he was ever there. There's no monument. There's nothing there to signify he, his memory. What they done with him is despicable and the lowest of low. 
they threw it in the Miami Day City dump. Orcas die in the wild, but not as much. Every year, 25% of the entire captive population dies. Sea World transports their orcas all the time, but yet, the, uh, yet they say that releasing them would be too stressful. How the hell, pardon my language, how the hell do you think they got there to begin with? You trans They were transported to the parks to start with. That's why the owners won't let her go. Because she wouldn't survive transport. She would. Every whale that was captured had to be transported. They would survive the transport back to their home water. Celebrities are willing to pay any bills that may arise until the orchids relearn how to catch fish on their own. Now, back to Keiko. Back to what I said about Keiko. Back to Keiko's story. Now, with Keiko, there was one superstar, one person in particular, and that was Michael Jackson. He had a tank originally built on his ranch. He was having a tank built for Keiko's rehabilitation. But because of the publicity, the negativeness he was getting, he couldn't finish the tank. But, the tank that was built for Keiko at Oregon, in Oregon, was done, was basically paid for by, well, one of the people that paid for it was Michael. And due to Michael and a lot of other celebrities, Keiko got to go home where he belonged. And many people don't realize this, but unlike the other orcas, Keiko died where he was born. He died in the wild. He was born in the wild, and he passed away in the wild. True, he did die in the companionship of humans, but that was because his pod could not be found. His pod was never found. So, he went to the only thing he knew, and that was humans. Another killer whale that was rehabilitated, the most famous killer whale, along with Keiko, is Springer. After Springer was found, she was taken to a sea pen and rehabilitated. She was put in a sea pen to where the sea pen was placed where her family went past a lot, or by a lot. So, and now Springer is a mother, an orphan cat who relearned how to be a killer whale herself, is now a mom. Lolita, the people in the Pacific Northwest have already found a place for Lolita's sea pen. And it's right, not far, it's right in the at traveling path of her family. Let me continue. Orcas learn to fish on their own, on their, by their first birthday, when in the wild. Now, Kill whales have a brain five times large, five times larger than our own. Now, Lolita and Corky, all the killer whales captured after their first birthday, know how to catch fish. The sea aquarium was stupid enough, and I mean idiotically stupid, and put a grouper in Lolita's tank. Something she's not familiar with. They should have put a dang salmon in the tank. She would have gone after it. And Killer Wells, now Lolita does remember her family's call. Because they had experimented with it while it, they were, some people were visiting this aquarium. They were recorded. They had a recording of her family. They had played it. She responded. She was only five years old when, she was only Six, five, six years old when she was taken from her family. So she'd know their call. They engage in complex cooperative pack hunting techniques, which they retain for life. 
No, this is on Lolita. Lolita the Orca was captured at the age of six, which meant that she had been hunting for five years. There's no reason to believe that she would have forgotten how to. Orcas have been known to share their food with young or injured members of their pod. This is reasonable to speculate that captive orcas would have would have trouble obtaining food in the following days after their release. Another family member might assist them until they, their skills are regained. In, 19, in a 1993 experiment, live salmon were released in a tank with two live orcas. The, or the two orcas echolocated the salmon, caught them, and ate them. Captive orcas have, who have not performed a trick in years, almost always recall behavior. Why wouldn't they recall something as important as how to survive? Not every orca can be released. That is why they need to be rehabilitated. The ones selected for release would spend months in training and learn how to fish and survive on their own in the wild. For the release, they would have mo been monitored with special radio tags and other tracking devices. Researchers would follow them to ensure their safety. You look at Keiko. The trainer's never left his side the whole time. And now, a fun fact about the Mind Beast Aquarium. The leader's front, the front tank now, the main tank. The main tank measures, lengthwise, 80 feet. The width of the tank, 35. The depth in the center is 20 feet. Lolita is over that length. Now the back tank or medical pool, the length is 60 feet. The width is 38. The depth along the side. It's Ken. The Miami Sea Aquarium first opened in 1955. Lolita's tank is 13 feet under the legal length of a marine mammal tank. And yet, and as many of you don't realize this, but every aquarium has to have a license. They do not have a license to stay open. And yet the USDA allow it? That's a bunch of bull. Now, outdoor facilities, shelter, natural or man-made, should be approved for the species considered when the local climate conditions are taken in consideration. Shall be provided for all marine mammals kept outside to, to give them protection from the weather and or direct sunlight. Lolita does not. And ne and sometimes neither does Tilly. Now, on the captive orca. The impact of orca captured in the, in the southern resident community during 1962 and 1973. During those years, a great number of orcas were captured from around the Washington State area. So they could be put in theme parks and aquariums. The people for people's entertainment. Of the 45 orchids captured from around the Washington State area, only one is still alive. Lolita. Lolita lives at the Miami Sea Aquarium in Florida. In the United States, 34 orchids were captured to be taken to aquariums. Of those orchids captured. Eleven were drowned during the during the captures, becoming entangled in the net. This means one third of the orcas died during being captured. It's estimated an additional forty-five orcas were not born that year into the community. Add to the number of orcas. Sorry, fan. A fan's one thing. Sorry. Captured. It means 
90 animals were removed. That is more than the number of orcas alive today. There is about 88 orcas in the ponds of, the, of Washington State. Orcas are on and off the considered endangered list in the United States. The average life of, a, of an orca after being put in captivity is only 12 years. About two-thirds of that was put in captivity. They don't last longer. Don't, they don't live longer than 10 years. This is my mother's writing, so she's missing a couple words. There are those rare ones that live longer. The population is growing very slowly. In addition to the removed animals, habitat destruction, overfishing and pollution has taken a toll on the orca. For example, in 1973, there were only there was only about five to ten reproductive females in the community. In 2003, only one fourth of the calves only one fourth of the calves will make it to their first to adulthood. In 1995, there were only eight calves born, and in 2003, about four more were born. In 1973, it became illegal to capture killer whales in the United States. However, it is still legal in Russia, Japan, Mexico, Canada, and Argentina. There is one whale in Argentina, Shemek. He is now by himself. If you see my video, let the, thir let the 11 orcas return home. Let the 11 orcas go. That lists the 11 killer whales that are still alive today. Just recently, we had lost two more whales that were taken from the wild. Bingo and Oscar. Oscar's family member, Stella, is still alive today. She has no more wild relatives with her today in captivity. Just the cat. Thank you, and I'll be updating the second part of this video very soon.